All right, everybody. Welcome to Pepper Forward. This is episode two of Meet Your Maker. And today we're meeting with David Lachosa of Nashville, Tennessee. Lachosa's Hot Sauce. Welcome to the show, David. Thank you. Thank you for having me, man. Appreciate that. So I hear that it was sort of written in the stars of your kitchen <laughs> that you were to be in the hot sauce business. Could you tell us about that? That's funny, man. No, uh, for some people that may not know, I mean, uh, we'll get, we'll get into that story in a second, but yeah, originally, <laughs> originally I came from, uh, Spain. So I, I have a little bit of an, a- of an accent here, but I try to hide it. I try to sound, uh, like a gringo as you, if you say, if you will, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so it's been, it's been a six year journey. It's been lots of, lots of learning, lots of, lots of fun. But um, I've always loved cooking in Spain and, and there's always been, you know, if you know a little bit of the Spanish culture, you know, people show their love basically by cooking for other people and by like taking care of like big families and, and that sort of thing. So food is a, is a big part of the culture. Um, and so I, I grew up with that and I, you know, learned to cook at a young age and, and that kind of thing. And so when I came here, I first kind of stumble upon the whole like hot sauce community and everything because I, in Spain, it's, it's really not, I mean, I can only think of maybe one or two dishes that have a little bit of a spice, um, like patatas bravas, if anybody knows what that is, it's like a little, uh, fried potatoes with like a tomato, spicy tomato sauce. But, um, but other than that, I don't remember growing up with anything spicy. And so I came here and, and everything, it was kind of a surprise that like, the hot sauce culture was so big like you know there's little chopped jalapenos in a lot of dishes there's like it's kind of like a mix of cultures obviously because i mean you have uh all the latin american uh, countries that are so close to the u.s that influ you know came here influenced that culture um so it's it's awesome to see and so i i kind of started trying a bunch of different hot sauces i'm sure you had that experience as well and just trying to figure out what you like uh what you don't like and trying some funky ones, trying some average ones, trying some, you know, some super spicy ones and regretting it later. And, (laughs) (laughs) um, and so then I was like, you know what, I've tried so many sauces. Why why don't I just make my own? So I was like, I I spent some time researching on how to make, how to make sauces and, you know, fermented versus not fermented, that type of thing. And, and I started mixing flavors, doing, doing some things that I thought it would be yummy put together, you know? Um, and we did a little market, uh, here in in Nashville and and it was really successful. And so people kept asking me to make more and, you know, doing it for friends and family for a few years. And then, um, my wife actually was like, you know, maybe we should start a business with it. And I was like, sure, (laughs) I guess we could. Um, so we thought about it and we started the business and, um, it's been, it's been a really fun, fun journey. I mean, we started last year, uh, March of last year. And it's been, it, it was awesome last year. And then kind of, it's been a little bit like surviving the wave, I guess, this year. But one of those, going back to the line on the stars, when I was making it at my house, um, I had a, a blender, like a ninja blender thing. And then we custom built a, a pot, like a big pot with one of those like home brewing kits so that it had a spigot. And whenever the hot sauce was hot, we can like open this, pick it up and bottle the, the sauces quickly. Okay. Instead of like putting it somewhere, like, you know, using a funnel and like whoever's made hot sauce on, on their own house, they know the struggle. If you've made like more than 50 bottles in your own house, like you have to like keep the temperature and use a funnel and like bottles are hot and you have to figure out like it's a whole mess. But in one of those I, you know, one of those uh, times making a recipe, I, I think it was, I, I set, I set the pot on the table, the, the hot, it was hot, uh, you know, hot pot with hot sauce. And when I sat it, the whole thing went flying. The, the sauce went all over the, <laughs> the <laughs> ceiling and everything. And so there's like little, there's three spots in there that we couldn't get out. And, you know, is the hot sauce constellation in our house for sure. <laughs> they so. maybe should take that panel out and and preserve it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So funny. there weren't any family history of sauce makers then in your family, I guess. You you've started a new tradition here in the United States. Yeah, yeah, um, it's kind of a it's it's, it's fun cuz I mean, honestly, I'm the only Lechosa 
La Chosa on, on the United States. We're the first of my family to move here. Um, all my family's in Spain and it's kind of a weird last name in Spain. I mean, you have your like typical, like, you know, Garcia's and, you know, typical Spanish last names, but um, there's not that many of us in Spain, let alone all over the world. So um, we got some family in Australia and then I got me and now my wife, they're <laughs> here, the only two people. So. Okay. Well, yeah. what's it been like making hot sauce in Nashville in the music city? I'm, I'm sure it's been interesting there. Yeah, it's, it's been great. I mean, honestly, I've had nothing but great connections with people. I mean, it's been such a, such a joyful experience to be able to get connected with with everybody because i feel like in other industries a lot of the people are really protective and secretive about stuff mm. and i feel like with the hot sauce community i mean i got connected with so many people like you know yourself and other folks like and and everybody's been like willing to help like other hot sauce companies since the beginning that we started hey how do you do this how did you do that how do you do that like from like from bottles to like the the shrink wrap that people use like how to put the um the date on bottles like where to get barcodes like questions like that that you don't know like just start doing research or like what's the size like what typical size of the label that you need to do um what are the costs what are the the average retail prices like all these like market study like you know i probably bugged the heck out of a lot of people at the beginning (laughs) but uh and i still do i mean i still ask a ton of questions but um it's been fun to just Get, get to know everybody and everybody's been like super super helpful with with everything you know um which is great because i didn't know anything about the hot sauce business going back to the cooking of the sauce what were some of your favorite ingredients to really play with when you started developing so i think you know we we use fresnos and ghost peppers and and some of the sauces i i'm a big fan of bourbon so i experimented with bourbon and you know, some tequila stuff that didn't turn out good. And um, I mean, all sorts of stuff. We even did like a kiwi, kiwi serrano sauce that we had like three or four people that always asked us to make more of it. And then everybody else was like, nah, this is gross. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, so it's, it's been a fun just, you know, mixing whatever I thought it was good, like roasting some stuff and putting it in or, you know, it's been, it's been fun. Well, you've got the fabulous five right now is what I call them because I think yeah. all five of them are so great, but thank you. What, any thoughts of a sixth possible down the road, maybe, or another, ex- Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have a label yet, but this is our six one. Okay. It's not as keep, keep it on the down low. It's not announced yet, but okay. This, this is our, this is going to be our six one and it's going to be, um it's gonna be called the original which is kind of funny because you know obviously these are the original five but right uh, the original is we figure the name because it's it's gonna be our mild uh kind of okay. table table, table red sauce. sauce yeah and super excited about this one because i put my spanish roots into this i added saffron which is super expensive but uh it gives it a nice like nice spanish type flavor um i added a hint of lime on this which i'm super a fan of like just oh yes super is is mild it's like your everyday red sauce it has a hint of lime in it it's it's awesome you are speaking my language <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i'll have to send you one of these oh but, my goodness um, that's exciting we're, we're waiting on labels and all the other stuff that we need to do but um i'm hoping to announce that in the next like month or so but yeah, yeah, I, sh- I had shown earlier I, my bottle of ghost is sitting here right next to me and it's it's nice. seen a lot of love it took me almost a year to decide that it was my favorite one i went back and forth between this one and carolina madness um because i like the oh. heat i mean as far as the other ones go it's oh man it's really hard i was going to ask you yeah which sauce that you made was your favorite I it feels unfair because i i couldn't decide yeah. i was curious if it you just could. depends <laughs> it depends on the dish so yeah. like it depends on what I'm using it with. I do have like three that are probably my top three favorites of all the of all time. Um, but then so the jalapeno, this is this is probably one of our top sellers. The jalapeno and the Carolina Reaper I think are probably our top sellers. But okay. um, 
the jalapeno here, oh boy jalapeno, it's kind of like a really nice fresh jalapeno sauce, like a verde sauce that also has ghost peppers, garlic, and a few other things. Um, and it's it's simple, but it's also like really tasty. And it has like that jalapeno flavor, but a little bit hotter than the, than what a right. jalapeno would be. Um, but it's still pretty mild, so it's all of our sauce. I mean, I you've tried the Carolina, you've you've probably tried all their Carolina Reaper sauces that were way over the top. I'm sure. Oh yeah, there's there's a few I've gotten hold of that were <laughs> not as friendly as the exactly. Carolina Madness. Yeah, so it's Carolina Madness. Obviously, it has some madness to it. It has Carolina Reapers on it, but it also has like raspberries. It has bourbon, onions. Like it has a bunch of different things. It's probably our most funky sauce, I guess you could call it. But I, I've had some people, honestly, I don't. Are you a fan of hot sauce and ice cream? Uh, I'd be honest with you. I have yet to find one that I've that I've tried, but I saw online where someone had tried the Carolina Madness with that. <laughs> yeah, and I have yeah. bought some ice cream, and that's probably going to happen this weekend. <laughs> that's awesome. I've had people. I honestly, I would never have thought to put hot sauce on ice cream. Like that's just crazy talk. Uh, I usually put this on pizza, but um, the Carolina Reaper has a little bit of sweetness to it, so I guess it makes sense. It has like that smokiness from the bourbon. Uh, but I've seen some people put this on on ice cream, on vanilla ice cream, and the peach one as well. The peach okay. habanero. Yeah, the peach. Yeah, it had the sweetness. Yeah. Yeah, the peach habanero. I absolutely. I think that bottle's empty. I love that one too. But like you said, <laughs> the dish really dictates. Um, yeah. You know which one you're reaching for. Yeah. Um, but the habanero, I think, matching that with the sweetness. Uh, yeah. The, it's just so. It's just so perfect. Um, which yeah, I guess makes the sense on the, you know, ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. And, but, but that, the peach for me, out of everything that I've tried on it, wings are absolutely insanely delicious with the peach habanero. Oh, yeah. um, I actually have a, a recipe on YouTube too, but the peach and the mango habanero, I don't know what it is about, but like for everybody that likes that sort of like sweet heat kind of thing. Right. Mango habanero, peach habanero, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, just you can smoke the wings, you can bake them, you can deep fry them, and then just like toss, you know, toss some sauce on it. You can even add a little bit of brown sugar to it if you want it and kind of reduce the sauce a little bit uh, with some butter. But I mean, hot wings is probably one of our favorite things to do, like some smoked hot wings. I got a little crazy with the hot wings. I've been experimenting now with uh, cauliflower <laughs> yeah. because uh, my hot wing uh, addiction got a little out of control. <laughs> yeah. I've never had a hot wing with cauliflower. Is that good? Uh, it's interesting. It's um, cauliflower, of course, doesn't have much flavor to it, yeah. um, but it holds up really well if you roast it in the oven. So I found a, a YouTube video that had a, a really good batter you could make for it. And then you okay. just sort of dredge them in that and put them in panko and then put them in the oven. And when they came out, they even kind of resembled uh, a yeah. chicken drumstick. And then you just uh, sauce them up. And they're uh, basically, if you ever watched Hot Ones, when they do the vegan wings, yeah, uh, I believe it was the um, – uh, Paul Rudd episode that they okay. actually had the cauliflower wings because you could tell how massive they were um, and that's actually what turned me on to them and so they're actually I was surprised because when you actually saw some uh, the cauliflower once it roasts in the oven takes on almost a butter flavor interesting uh, I've only tried cauliflower really baked and it wasn't a fan there was like some lady back I haven't eaten cauliflower and probably maybe way over 10 years but um there was this lady she made some baked cauliflower and i i did not like it <laughs> yeah I, I could see not liking it on its own uh yeah. just there's nothing there really but it was a great vehicle for sauce um yeah and i, I was trying to cut down a little bit of the <laughs> the chicken yeah, yeah, yeah. wings <laughs> oh man that makes total sense well, uh, David, thank you so much for joining me here today. This has been amazing. Uh, look yeah. forward to doing it again sometime. And, and maybe after the original comes out, we'll come out and talk about it some. Absolutely. Um, yeah, that, this has been fantastic. Yeah, man, yeah. I appreciate, appreciate you having me. I mean, with, with this whole hot sauce journey, I mean, what's, have you, you know, I know you're, you're doing this whole YouTube thing and everything. Have you ever thought of doing anything else or what's, what's ahead for you? What are, what are your thoughts? It's funny. Um, I sort of, I'm the destroyer of hobbies. Kind of like when <laughs> your wife told you, maybe you should turn your love for hot sauce into a business that kind of happens to me. Yeah. Um, so who knows, to be honest, because uh, 
of course, right now I've got a, a game store because uh, my youngest son and I learned how to play Magic the Gathering three years ago. So Dude, that, that was my whole into, childhood, too. <laughs> that turned into a game store that we've now is fixing to enter its fourth year. That's um, awesome. But, you know, with COVID-19, things are changing. So, yeah. Do you uh, have an online store, too? Yeah, we, we have one. We actually nice. have one. And uh, uh, But still, it's just um, – I'm always looking for the next thing. I'm kind of, yeah. uh, I, I don't, I wouldn't consider myself a serial entrepreneur, but I guess I might be close. <laughs> yeah. And do you have, have you ever made like your own games or anything like that? Maybe we should like make some hot sauce game, man. Uh, oh, now that would yeah. be fun. I've seen some of those little hot sauce pyramids where you, you have to start off or you ask questions and, or you spin yeah, a dial fun. and yeah, I would yeah. absolutely love that. I've always wanted to do one. I think Brian Ames has done some of those on his channel and yeah. uh, who I absolutely love. Uh, he's got yeah. one of the best channels on, on the internet. Um, <laughs> I've watched him wreck his friends with those games and Oof. um, Yeah. I would, yeah, that would be a lot of fun. I would yeah, love to absolutely. do something like that. Great. Well, very good. Thank you, thank you for doing this with us today. And uh, I love my family to yours and hope you guys stay safe and uh, can't wait to do this again. Yeah, man. You as well. You guys have a good one. You too. All right.